This is an ultrasound study of a 35 years old female uh, with the history of uh, ascites, protuberant abdomen, is HCV positive. What is seen is uh, that uh, the kidney is normal, both for the clear, otherwise unremarkable. The liver shows <coughs> fatty liver parenchymal changes and the intrahepatic vessel margins are not that blurred to label it as a cirrhotic liver. However, this I will label it as a <coughs> fatty liver. Now, this is the right hemidiaphragm. This is the right hemidiaphragm. And uh, there is fluid in the pleural space, <coughs> right pleural space. This is the fluid in the right pleural space. And uh, from the subpostal region, you will see it in a better view. This is fluid in the right pleural space. This is the liver. And uh, this is the transfer section of the kidney. And the liver surrounded by ascitic fluid. Okay, now in this, please uh, do consider one thing while you are performing uh, this scan that. Uh, you will be see you if you see fluid uh, in the both pleural space as well as in this uh, abdomen or surrounding the outer surface of the liver as well. Then be sure that this is uh, not the ascitic fluid. This is the pleural effluvium, and this is the ascitic fluid. Fatty liver, some kind of changes are seen. Gallbladder is is normal. No pining for the wing is of normal caliber with no, uh, and is patent. Now this is the left lobe of the liver, in transfer section, no evidence of intrahepatic bile duct ectasia, and uh, this is the uh, left ascending part of the left quarter vein in foot view, which branches entering into it. This is the left horizontal branch, uh, anterior, and this is the ascending part of the left portal wing. This is the left uh, horizontal branch, sorry, right horizontal branch between the portal wing. Now, there is an issue over here, and the issue is that there is a hypopoic area seen. This is within this liver, measuring approximately 3.6 by 2.9 centimeters and uh, it is solid reason being you can see the posterior wall no acoustic enhancement of strong back wall is seen uh, this is uh, uh, it appears from this angle to be relating to the segment 3 of the liver okay now uh, let's have a longitudinal section of the left row. Now you see that, uh, let's see where is the chorate row. Do we see chorate row? Now this is the, in fact, the uh, location of the chorate row. And uh, this is the longitudinal section of the left row of the liver. This is the chorate row and this is the IVC. You know, chorate lobe is bounded anteriorly by the ligamentum venosum. This is the ligamentum venosum, and <coughs> this is uh, and it, uh, the IVC course is posterior to the chorate lobe. So this is the chorate lobe, and the chorate lobe is showing mass measuring approximately 5.0 into. 2.1. This is also called, chorded lobe is also called segment 1 of the uh, liver. And this area is representative of another uh, so solid focal lien related to the segment 3 of the liver. This is the liver. And this is the focal lien. It is not cystic. It's solid and hypopoic this area.
now let's concentrate a bit on other other areas. This is the aorta endometrial section. This is the sperm mesentery artery. Arising from it, we do not see any adenopathy. And uh, this is the region of the porta hepatis. This one. No adenopathy over here. This is the IVC. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is the portal vein. This is the portal vein. And uh, here I'll show you the. Let's see. The pancreas. This is the superior mesentery cartoon transfer section. This is the aorta. This is the pancreas. The tail of the pancreas. I'm going to magnify to show you that this focal lane, a part of it being echogenic and a part being uh, hypochoic relates to the quadriclobe of the liver because otherwise the quadriclobe is not seen separately. And this is the location for the uh, identification of the quadriclobe. What's important to see in this uh, is that this is not a purely hypochoic mass. It's in fact, it contains an ecogenic area as well. This is an ecogenic part in it. My yes, this is the true measurement now. So, mixed eco in a sense that half, almost, uh, most of, of this uh, mass relating to the quadrilobe or segment one of the liver is hypochoic with ecogenic area protruding into it from its posterior wall. It's bounded anteriorly by ligamentum venusum and posteriorly we can see IVC coursing uh, through it. And this is fluid, ascetic fluid. This is the IVC, this proximal IVC coursing posterior to the corridor probe and this is the mass relating to the segment one of corridor probe of the liver. Now had I seen the corridor probe separately I would have uh, said that well this can well be a lymph node but it is not because if this is a lymph node then where is the corridor probe? not see. So an ecogenic area protruding into this uh, hypochoic region relating to the quadrate lobe in longitudinal as well as in transfer section is the typical location of the quadrate lobe. So this is a quadrant lobe mass, hypochoic as well as ecogenic. Here you will see another thing that this is the spleen, this is the spleen, this is the left hemidiaphragm, and the spleen mayors. This is the spleen. This area is spleen. Supreme measures 4.6 and is small sized. Okay, let's make it 4.98 uh, and 5.1. Up to 5 is uh, the lowermost normal limit except the <coughs> limit of the Supreme. So, anyway, the Supreme measures 5.1 centimeter and this issue, this area, ecogenic area, is in fact the liver and the liver is seen hugging the uh, Supreme. This white band of tissue is the liver, and liver is hugging the supreme. This supreme liver, and rest all of these are bowels, and this is the ascetic fluid. This is the fluid. Now see that. Uh, this is the pelvic region of the of the patient. 
and we see uh, that this is the urinary bladder. There are floating echoes. You can see that? This is the floating echoes within the cystic flute. These are the bowels floating in it. 